Hi. Yeah. Oh no, I'm like really excited because I have a sword. What do you mean? But it has a but it has a thing on it. I have a cool hand thing with the Okay. Well well fine. Should I at least show them my TBR? Hey honey wish day. Daiwichi Yanke. My name is Michelle from The Once Another Letter and today we're gonna be talking about all the books I'm hoping to read in October for Fablin. So I don't know how to play this game, but all I know is that you read books and you get points and if you read books surrounding XYZ, you get extra points and I'm a co-host, so let's get into it. Okay, so I kind of stacked all of these books according to like interest, which ones I really want to get to, which ones I know that are going to really hurt me, and um, some that I'm like, if I don't get to these, it'll be okay. And so we have a stack of 24. So the first few are ones that publishers have sent, to, have sent to me, so I'm going to try to make them a priority. It's been a while since I've done a TBR, but I've been really excited for this for like a month or so, and I really honestly haven't read too much in the last few weeks, so I'm hoping to like read a chapter out of these and then see how I feel. So we have On a Wing and a Tear by Cynthia Lydic Smith. I talked about this in my book haul and this is a road trip book. These next two I also received from Cynthia Lydic Smith and that is The Unfinished and A Constellation of Minor Bears. And so thank you to Cynthia Lydic Smith for sending this to me. She is so caring. She, her advocacy for indigenous voices is something to behold. So A Constellation of Minor Bears by Jen Ferguson. This one covers a high school graduate who is hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah, there we go. And someone that she does not like is going to be there. And this, I know that this is going to pierce my heart because Jen Ferguson's books always do. And as you can see, one of my host favorites is The Summer of Bitter and Sweet. And then we have The Unfinished by Cheryl Isaacs. And this is a debut. And this one is about a girl who hears something and someone goes missing. And then there's like I think a cryptid of some sorts. The next one I want oh my god. This one was like talk about me. Okay, so this next one is the truth according to Ember. I'm hoping to finish this because it's been way too late. Like Danica, if you're seeing this, look away. I apologize. Alright, I also want to finish Where We Last Saw Her by Marcy Rendon. And this one is also a mystery that covers missing murdered indigenous women. The next one I got sent a long time ago back in May and I still have not picked it up so I'm hoping to pick it up before its release date in October and this is The Judgment of Yo-Yo Gold by Isaac Bloom. So the next little stack is going to pierce my heart and I just know it but also I wanted to read some books for Latin A Heritage Month and I do read I do read Latinx books all year round however here are the ones that I've been like kind of like saving for like a rainy day and this just so happens to be the rainy day only it's not rainy it's sunny and it's gonna be a bitch in fall so we have Fat Chance Charlie Vega by Crystal Maldonado and I've had this for quite a while this next one I got for my birthday from Natalie and I also got a copy from Living Guerrero of themselves and that is Manny Samia finds her Quetzal voice and this is by Anna LaPera and I believe this is about um, something that has to do with like puberty and being sent to Guatemala and not wanting to go and finding out like family secrets and I love a good family secret book. Levin Querido also their cover art is always just so impeccable and also their books are smell like nostalgic. Um, Everand also has most of Levin Querido's uh, bibliography so if that's something you're interested in um, i go over there. I also have Salsa Magic by Leticia Marrero and the reason why I uh, put these on my TBR is because one of my thing is um, if you, you read a, an arc or a book for free, I'll put my little character in like a thing. I haven't made it yet so we'll see. And this one I believe is about her finding out secrets about a family member or something um, and having some kind of like vision. This next one, I also heard really good things from a lot of my other friends, and that is the Louise Ortega Survival Club, and I got this a while back, and I also want to read The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School, so I'm going to try to read both of their 
their books. This next one I know is going to absolutely tear my heart out, throw it down a flight of stairs, and then get hit by a semi-truck. And that is This Is Me Trying by Raquel Marie. And I have been wanting to read their books for such a long time. I have all three. I am ready to get my heart ripped out by this book because this is me trying. Hello. So this next little stack is ones that I'm hoping to get to, but if I don't get to, it'll be okay. I have Sammy Espinosa's Last Review by Taylor K. Mejia, What the Jaguar Told Her by Alexandra V. Mendez. And this one takes place, I believe, during uh, 9-11. So this next one is Middle Town by Sarah Moon, A Proposal They Can't Refuse by Natalie Kanya, and this was recommended by Carla. Lizards Hold the Sun by Danny Trujillo. And then next but not least, we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I'm in the middle of this, but I'm willing to put it down for the greater good of reading something with a little bit more depth. Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boise. I believe this one is also a host favorite. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to win all the points. Um, will I? No. No, 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 no. I will be lucky if I read a third of this TBR. Like, if I manage to read eight books, I'll be super fucking proud of myself because the last four to five months has been an absolute shit show. I haven't read more than when I read 22 books in April. We're gonna aim for like 12 to 15. It should be in the bag. Fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. That is it for me today. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're nourishing yourself. I hope you're hydrating yourself. I need I need to go get something to drink. Prepare your car. Put your blanket in your car. Put your little sweater back there, you know, and then go out get yourself like a scarf and have your little Gilmore Girl moment with your tea and coffee or whatever. Whatever whatever the fall people do this, this time of year. I'm really excited. Thank you to Margaret for choosing me as a co-host to participate in this really fun readathon and we will see what happens and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Also, links are down below. Links are down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Like it. Cut the check, cut the check. Ah. Get that picture off the monitor. <laughs> Where's my husband? Baby spider. Squirrels are scary, man. <laughs> Who's your kid now, Thor? Best of friends. Best of friends. Man!